<laughs> yes. Go back in time to refilm last week's Minecraft Monday show like it never happened. What? It's already, we're a week late. Back in time. Hey, what's up guys? Bebop Vox here and welcome to the Minecraft Monday show here every week covering all the news so you have more time to game. But not only tons of news this week, but also tons of stuff that you guys have been up to in the community this week. And first up, let's go ahead and cover fan art. All the time you guys are doing awesome Bebop Vox fan art. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys rule. On to the Minecraft news now. All right, guys, first up this week, we have Turkey is investigating Minecraft for violence. Yeah, I really just said that phrase. As if Turkey didn't have other things they should be worrying about right now. The social policy minister of Turkey has ordered an investigation over suggestions that it promotes aggression. And if it's seen that Minecraft is too violent, then the nation could seek a nationwide ban. Who said that players get points for killing characters, including women. They also have zombie babies. Now, zombie babies is a touchy subject. You don't see a lot of games with zombie babies. Minecraft does that, it's pushing the limit. Actually, in Dying Light, they did have a zombie baby, but it wasn't like a featured character. So there you go, that's possibly a thing that could probably be insanely irrelevant. Now let's talk about what Mojang's been up to, eh? Because Surge, he's already said that this year he will be working on features for survival and adventure mode. He says, no worries, a map making feature every now and then is still okay. Also, the PC had update 1.8.2. You guys have tons of updates, including interesting statistics that are completely useless. From how many pieces of cake that you've eaten, kind of statistics, to also this has a bunch of changes for existing things. Now, the Pocket Edition, if you guys want some updates, ah, here you go, 0.11.0. .0. Better yet, they also have a new Pocket Edition member. Congratulations and welcome to the Mojang team. He was also interviewed by an upcoming YouTuber here, asking him all about the Pocket Edition news. Talking about some stuff we've already covered in the show, like what he's currently working on. Like fishing, but also talking about some new stuff, like Minecraft Raspberry Pi Edition getting an update. Where could he see Minecraft Pocket Edition in one year? And this was all conducted by the YouTuber, here of Ryan Skull, of course. But also that Minecraft Pocket Edition is adding cheat protection. Now, so just some basic cheat protection. Example, other players won't be able to cheat and teleport around the other players. So they got that going for them. Now what's this? A brand new texture pack in the works? Ooh, I'm calling this news because he needs your votes if he should continue doing this or not. Everybody knows that texture packs are massive amounts of work. Well, this guy's posted a bunch of pictures to see if it's even worth continuing to do or not. The Binding of Steve. If you want a solid Binding of Isaac texture pack that you can use, so go ahead to that Reddit thread and tell him to keep making this or not. I'm not. Bye, Isaac. Get it? Bye, Isaac. I'm not biased. Puns. They don't always work. All right, enough talking about Mojang and that game that you love. Time to get on to the community videos that you guys have been up to for new guys and all the awesomeness that you're up to. And first up is poking fun at the almighty modding API, the mythical modding API. This is absolutely hilarious and well-timed. It's a dub over of a video that's getting around a lot. And in this case, he used it to talk about the modding API. It could not be more fitting. Make sure to watch this and yell in the comments, diamonds to you. Your next video, oh, I love misunderstandings. And you're about to watch a kid suddenly freak out who live streams and normally gets like one or two viewers. And all of a sudden out of nowhere gets 200. Well, it's because it's a 4chan raid, a very trolly known style of art. Sure, let's call it art, why not? Well, this trolling video, this kid completely ignores chat and just freaks out for many minutes upon end, even though the chat is full of swastikas and, and ASCII Hitlers. And that is the lesson to life, kids. Don't pay attention to chat. Wait. Well, he continues and then gets over 300 people watching, including on the front page of PlayStation. Lost his mind. It's awesome. And finally, Interstellar move over. There's Minecraft machinimas to replace you with. Okay, all right, it's decent. It's a short film, and everybody knows those take massive amounts of time to make. So make sure to give them some big ups going upon that endeavor to space and short filmage. I can't wait. Here you guys go. Some of the most amazing downloads ever. 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 
in this segment I like to call HOLY SHIT Did you see that? All these are fully downloadable so you can walk away with them. Enjoy. They won't fit in your pocket. Now if you guys ever thought iPhone 6 was too expensive, then go ahead and spend $20 to get Minecraft and then download this because you guys have all the in Minecraft! Enjoy everything from a locked screen to putting in your own code to apps, sideburns at work, and apps like Flappy Bird. Of all things to use to show off your awesomeness, he used Flappy Bird. <laughs> you next one, I don't see a lot of space builds come across my desk, but in this case, the Celestial Star Destroyer. It's like half a scorpion with 30 miniguns. Surprisingly enough, interior is actually done too, so enjoy. Now if you guys hate dealing with a brand new world and a seed, then go ahead and get some awesome world painter stuff like this. It's a custom world made by Jake Beebe, featuring a volcano with a dead river by it, but this is by no means small as it's 2000 by 2000. It was made with world machine and world painter. But I'm always looking for the small simple stuff that's nicely designed, such as this, the modern house too. This townhouse does a lot with very little room. And it's gonna give you guys a lot of inspiration if you're trying to design your own house as well. And now for something completely different. The Grim Reaper! The take over your server. Night like death is coming. And finally, this one's really interesting. It's called Spirit Island. And there's not a single bit of water around it. Secondary, like a mountain smashed into buildings. I'm really not sure, but find out for yourself with that download. Now before I get to you guys' contest, watch a Chicago. I can win something! First up, your skins. And first up is Hellboy! A sock monkey, imaginary defender, the voodoo doll, and a female, a shashan. Alright! Now congratulations to the winners. Four winners, 25 bucks each, $100 every week for Jinx.com. Go ahead and get yourself any kind of game and swag. You guys have been annotated down below. And if you guys want a chance to win, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And why not share with your fellow Minecraft addicts so they're just as well informed. Or better yet, that they get more addicted to Minecraft. Mm. As always, keep being awesome. I'm Bebop Vox. Game on. Ow! Why is this the trumpet noise?